Alright, so I've gone ahead and I've gathered all the materials I'm going to need to make the intermediate gear that I'm looking for. So, I'm going to show you the first use of the ability Recall. Um, recall is a timed ability. It can be interrupted by combat. And it basically just takes you back to your faction's temple. Making it a really good thing if you're out and you get some good loot and you really don't want to lose that loot. Or, you know, you, you're just done for the day and you've gathered enough um you can recall back to your faction's temple and um bank it now there is something right now called the spirit bank um but i'm not even going to really teach people about that for now because of the fact that um it might be coming out and i'll show it to you guys um with the spirit bank you can take materials and you can throw them in there anytime so you just throw that in there, that's safe. If you die now, you're not going to lose that. And you can pull them back out at any time. In campaigns, you have a limited number of times that you can do that. Though there's a, a method that a lot of people use to bypass that. But um, within the current state of God's Reach, you can do that as many times as you want. Um, the only thing is that... Like I said, that's that's not a mechanic that's going to stay that way forever. You're not going to be able to just spirit bank things for forever. So I like to use the bank just to get in good habits. You know, you don't want to be too reliant on something that you're not going to be able to use in the later stages of the campaign. So let's go ahead and grab the stuff we need. In fact, I think we have everything we need. And we're going to go over... Oh, nope. Forgot those leather pieces. Grab the stuff we need, and then we're going to go over and we're going to craft those um that armor and those weapons so we're bumping ourselves up to intermediate weapons that are going to do a significant amount more damage and we're also getting ourselves a little bit of intermediate armor which is going to make it so that we can take hits easier so we're going to start with um making new basic weapons because those basic weapons are a component of creating the intermediate weapons and the reason that i'm doing the new basics is not only because of the fact that the other ones are have they've lost some durability, but you can see we're using common materials. Well, we have poor quality pistols right now. Um, so with common materials, you're much more likely to get a common quality item. So now we have a common quality basic pistol. It's a little bit better than the pistols we were using before. We're going to make another one. All right, so now we're going to upgrade these to intermediates through the use of blacksmithing. Got to go to the bench to do that. And metal billet, ethereal dust, basic pistols. So we're going to make ourselves two metal billets. Just going to take nine iron ore each or any other non-basic ore that you have access to. And then the metal billets actually have um, experimentation points. So we're going to try to upgrade our attack power as we're building these. All right, and we got common quality billet. We're going to try and make another one. Let's see if either of those succeeded on the attack power upgrade. Oh, we did get a little bit of attack power boost from both of them. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to incorporate those into two intermediate pistols. So we take our common basic pistol, our common billet, and our ethereal dust. And because we're using all common ingredients, we have a very high chance of getting a common intermediate weapon. All right. Um, let's try all stats. Perfect. And those poor pistols we have still have sacrifice value. So after I'm done making these um, 
new pistols, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, go sacrifice the old ones on the pyre so we can get a little bit of experience out of them. those got an attack power upgrade but not much else so now we're going to make our armor and so for the armor we need the four leather sheets we've already made those and we need ore we've got that so let's drag in the ore drag in the ethereal dust and drag in one of our leather sheets assemble that and Make item. All right, equip that. Do the same thing for the chest. Or the chest takes two leather sheets, so we'll drag both of those in there. And assemble. Next, make item. So it doesn't look like it lets you roll on this intermediate armor, so you don't need to worry about that. And finally, we're going to do the gloves. So, you can see it actually tells me that I've succeeded before I would even do the rolling process, which is kind of nice. Um, lets you know how much you should care about it before you even have to worry about start doing re-rolls and things like that. Um, the big thing is that any of those could have been a flawed assembly, and if they were a flawed assembly, what that would mean is that I would have a poor quality item. Um, and that poor quality item, like say I, I got a poor quality metal billet, then that means I have a very high chance of getting a poor quality, um, uh, a, a poor quality pistol out of the metal billet that I'm using it to assemble it with. Um, however, I got all common, so we didn't have to worry about that. Personally, I would have just kept the poor quality item since I don't really care too much about this character. Um, but, you know, if you cared a little bit more, you might take some extra metal and make yourself a new billet that's common quality so you have a higher chance of um, getting a higher quality pistol. So we'll go ahead and we're going to sacrifice our old items because we can. Throw them in there. Oh, and that's going to max us out. And then sacrifice the next one. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna cut until I actually go and do it, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hunt some higher rank mobs so I can get more experience from them. And then you're gonna get to see the effects of this new gear and how much stronger it makes us. So I'm gonna cut it for now and I'll pick it back up pretty quickly. Alright, so I went ahead and invested those talent points and everything that I earned, and now we're ready to head out into the world beyond the beachhead. And because we're in God's Reach, we're actually heading into PvE zones, we don't really need to worry about getting ganked out there. Um, if this was a campaign, these portals would probably take us into a PvP area, so we'd need to be a little bit more on guard and maybe even roll with a group or something. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the map for a second. I'm going to hit M to bring up my map. And you can see this kind of gives you an overview of the zone that we're in. We can look around, we can see the terrain features and everything. Um, but more what I'm interested in right now is we're going to go to two campaign map. And as we go to two campaign map, you're going to see we're at the Order Faction Temple. And there's three zones right outside that we can go that are training zones. That means we can go kill mobs there, we can gather resources. Um, it's a, just an area for getting stronger. So we're going to go ahead and go to Formosa. You can see that link directly from the Order Faction Temple to Formosa, which means that we can reach Formosa from the Order Faction Temple. Um, and say we were going to uh, Bridia, it's one of the PvP zones, we could go from Formosa to Bridia because you can see that connection right there. All right, so here's our room gate to Formosa. We just hit it hit F while we're aiming at it. 
And that's going to take us into the new zone. Now, um, something I haven't showed any of you yet is how you slot abilities. And, and when I was picking up talents, I actually picked up the ability to do um, my first um, exploration um, discipline slot. So I'm going to show you how to slot a discipline. And I'm going to show you how to set up your ability bar with active abilities. So to get started out with, um, in this current version of the game, we can make exploration disciplines with ethereal dust and ore. And it, it can be any type of ore, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to grab this basic slag here. There's a ethereal dust, there's a slag, that's all we need to make it. So, go to crafting, down to pre-alpha discipline test recipes. We're going to go to exploration test recipes. And I think I'm going to start out with the villain exploration discipline what that does is it makes it so our tools degrade faster and you'll notice tools degrade very quickly in the start starting stages of the game so it's kind of nice to get past that point and be able to make things that last a little bit longer so we go ahead and we take that make item and let's go ahead and slot this into our discipline slots got one open exploration discipline so we slot that right in there and that's all it takes to do a discipline if you can craft it um, some of the the miners are actually harder to get now they're drops off of war tribes which we'll go into later um, but now we're going to go and we're going to configure our abilities so we've got a survival tray a melee tray and a stealth tray um, so for our um, Melee tray, that's where we're going to slot all our combat abilities. Um, Alright, so that actually is something that we use from stealth. Interesting. Um, we've got flintlock shot as our first melee ability. All right, let's throw that on our combat tray. I'll throw that in the first buff slot. I'll throw it in six. So you can see you can just kind of drag things to where you want them. We're going to look at our passives. We have seasoned hand, and that's what we got. That's what we got from Valane. Valane gave us the passive seasoned hand. So if you don't slot this passive. Your Valane Discipline does nothing for you, but I'm going to go ahead and slot that in there, and that's going to make it so our tools degrade slower. Um, we're going to drag Mental Fortitude, simply since we don't have a wealth of um, great passives to use right now, and that's going to make it so that our abilities cost a little bit less. Um, Interesting. Okay, so there you go. We've slotted some actives. We've slotted some passives. So when we get out into combat, we're going to be ready to use some of our new abilities. Um, and I will go ahead and cut it till I find some mobs worth farming. 